Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert HBFC. I'm your host, Yandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see are the different tasks that we have inside the PLC. So let's go to the presentation. Now, inside the controller, even if it's the M172 performance optimized or M171, we have different tasks. The tasks are the place where we can put our POUs program to be running. So if we go back here, the presentation, and let me just activate the pen. There we go. So in the controller, once we create a POU, as I showed you before, we have the possibility to link the POU to a specific task. If not, we can attach it later, but we have different tasks depend on the controller. So as you can see here on the M172, we have time, background, boot, init. And on the M171 optimize, what we have is time, background, boot, init, the same, but we have one specific for Modbus, okay? Which is the place where we can call the Modbus function to be executed on the M171 optimize. Now, once we create the POU, as I showed you before in the previous video, I uh, probably spoiled it. Um, we saw here that we have the different times, okay? Time, background, and each object has the different icons, as I show you here, okay? Time, background, and inside you can see where the object or which are the POUs that are going to be executed. Now, go back to the presentation. You can see it there. So this ans this question I answered in the previous video without know it. Uh, so basically we have the name of the PVU with the object image. And then if we have a question mark, it means that the PVU is not executed basically. Uh, and I say it uh, in the previous video. So now if we forgot to add the PUU when we create it into the um, into the task, we just need to right click on one of the tasks that we want, and then add program. And here we should be able to see the PUU that we want, and then just OK, and you should be able to see it as I show you in the previous one. So let me just recap. So let's imagine this main that is the one that came with the uh, with the temp no, with the default program. Okay. We just delete it from here, remove, and then let's say it's time, add program. You can see here all the programs that you have. My case has just only one. Okay, and that's it. Let's call again. And if I delete this, you can see the question mark over there. Over right there, that small one. Now you can also drag and drop it to be executed again when we download this to the controller. Now, what is the meaning of each? task okay so let's just hide myself a little bit so we can see it all together so we have the time and the background so basically the time is the task that is executed regularly okay you can see in there that the default time is uh, 100 millisecond okay and if we compare these two okay that they are the ones that have the clock okay on the on the software it means that the background has a lower priority. Okay, and now we're going to see that in a graph, what it means. Then we have the boot and init. So these two may sound the same, but they are not. So here the boot, okay, as it's booting, it only executes only one side and the system is top down. Okay, and this one init is executed when we download the application and this starts after the boot. Okay, so those are the difference. They are similar, but they're not. Okay, so if we want, for example, to initialize something every time, I just put everything on the boot. Or in some PLC, if we have like a, uh, which is my first scan cycle as the M241, or on the M21, you have. Uh, month first cycle so here you can put a variable a boolean variable to be executed on this and then 
when you run at the end of the PUU that you want, uh, that you're going to call, you can reset it so you know that you have the first cycle. It's just one idea. And then um, the mod bus is only M171. Okay, and it's used only when it's master configured. Okay, now how we can identify this? So I believe I, I don't know if the word solemn, but I take it from another place and then make some modifications here. Um, that basically you have the identification of the um, different time task that you have, or the different task. So I'm going to try to explain it here. So we have the, this is the period of the time to execution. Okay. In this case, you can see that this is the configure or is the time that we have the time task executed. And this is the execution of the background. Okay. And you can see the background, it extends from the actual time period that we have configured. Okay, so we, this is the time that we configure. Okay, the time period that we have and the execution of the time, it will depend on the code that we have. Also the execution of the background. So let's start with power of the equipment. So as soon as the M171 or M172 is power up, then it activates the boot. Okay, the one that I show you here this one now after the execution then you have the need the one i show you that is executed after the booting as i show you over here this now after the execution we have the we start for reading the inputs or how the cycle of each of all the PLCs is or the scan cycle is I read the inputs, I execute my code and then add update the um, the output status. So basically that's the idea. So as soon as we boot, we make the boot and make the need, we are starting on the scan cycle of the controller. So we read the inputs from the M171, M72, and then we start on the period of time to be executed everything that we have. So we start with the time because it has more priority than the background. Then we have some additional system task. Okay, I'm not going to be in details of over here, but the time, there's some time assigned for the task, turn on the system. Then what we got is the execution of the background, but it's not executed in the same because if I can show you, the execution of the time background is more than the time that we have configured. So that execution of the background is divided, okay, in different periods of the time. As you can see here. And imagine in this case, this is divided in three parts, okay, and the number one, two, and three are executed. And here, one, two, and three. Almost close enough to that. So in this particular case, I'd execute three times the time. I only one background. Okay, now that you here you can see the priorities in this case. So this is how it works. So at the beginning, power up, you have the boot task, then you have the need. Then we enter into this kind cycle of the PLC that read the inputs, execute my code, and then we have the update of the outputs. Now in the in this execution of the code, what we have is the execution of the time, some execution of the system. Okay, we don't need to enter into that details, and then execution of the program that can be partial or total, depending on the time period that we have configured. Okay, so that is the idea of this part. Okay. You can see here the actual execution time background task. And you can see this one that doesn't enter in the same time period is divided. Okay, so that's basically the idea how this works. So now we have the possibility to configure the, the time cycle for the period. And I believe you have the minimum 
can be 20 milliseconds and the max is uh, 100 milliseconds as a show over here so in order to change this basically what we need to do is to go to task double click and here there we go we have the possibility to change this set period and then you can assign something this probably is not okay because it goes for 20 milliseconds good so here should be 20 or whatever you want it doesn't matter this time so i changed the time to execution for the m171 it's different let me just check hbic let me see if i have one application just empty application to show you how it looks like in the 171 optimize let's open the other window configuration here here you can change the time so on the configuration you select the controller and here you can change the execution time first of all this is how you can modify this part so let's go back to the presentation i show you this now you can also check which is the status not the status the time that takes to uh, read the code or execute the code and it can be found this now i have created this presentation using the previous version of the software using the version 1.4 so this is now it's old because i'm using the version 1.5 so if you're using the version 1.4 then you have the operators and blocks and then targets now in the new version we have something different so those stuff that i'm going to explain later in another video are, can be found in this place in the library that makes more sense so targets and here target variables we have system bios group yeah system task and events uh, so we can use these ones to read which is the actual time of execution of our code so i'm just going to connect to the controller okay that i have here don't see this because i'm going to spend you later so don't look at it okay don't pay attention to all that i'm going to show you later how is the connection and what you need to do in order to connect and unload your code so we have a watch that i'm going to explain later also here i'm going to drag and drop these variables over here ah, there is no code sorry yes <laughs> i forgot to download the program go i'm going to show you later what i meant by this so i'm going to select this drag and drop it so here you can see the execution of time okay drag and drop so here you can see the just going to uh, magnify this magnify So we have these variables. You can see the actual value. Okay, this is the time that I have configured, and this is execution. And the execution is the time because the time is the one that is executing and doing something. Okay, you can see it's increasing this value. Now, here you can see task max execution time and task execution time. You can see in there the actual time and the max value that it has. So it's less than one millisecond the execution of the time of this for this only okay so in there you can see how does it work now i'm going to close this part this is just to show you uh for the 171 optimize you you don't have too many things 
And let me just put off this part because I'm going to show you later. And let me just move this part over here. Targets, target variables, and here tax execution, and you have three only. Okay. If you want to know more information about each time what it means, you can always right click Object Properties and you should be able to see the properties because I don't like so view toolbar property windows ah, it was hide over here so you have here system background task execution micro microseconds okay every time you have some question about something just right click option properties and it will tell you what it is Okay, so that's one thing. Let me see if I forgot something. Okay, so connect to the controller. I already done this part and add the watch the internal variables. And that's it basically. So what we have done here is to identify how the scanning cycle of the PLC works, how we can make some changes of the period of the time that we want the execution of time, and then we can also see or use variables in order to show the execution time for each of the tasks for the background and for the uh, time uh, task so mm, this is it for the task configuration the 172 and 171 thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Thank you.